Hello my little sunshines, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh, you guys this video for like a very 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 long time now and i truly apologize that it has taken me such a long time i've been moving around um so much and i finally got the chance to sit down and make this video for you guys i have so much to share too so it's kind of hard putting it all into one video i'm actually going to break this video into two different parts the first one is going to be on tips to travel and then the second one is going to be based on a different ways uh, that you can go abroad in order to um, either make money or volunteer and all that other good stuff okay a lot of people have been asking me how it is that I go around and travel and um, I've been traveling since I was 18 and I have found different ways and I've managed my money pretty well in order to be able to go around and um, do different things to be able to go abroad a lot of that has to do with you know when I was in college and that allowed me to basically go abroad and study at the same time, which was absolutely amazing. And I know not everybody can do it. So that's what worked for me. But here are tips to travel on a budget. Tip number one that I would highly suggest doing is be flexible, okay? Um, I would highly, highly, highly suggest to be flexible, which I understand is very hard to do, especially if you have a job, um, but definitely look ahead, okay? When you are looking into when you want to travel and things like that which leads me into my second tip is book two to three months in advance if you can again i know sometimes that is very difficult for some people um especially because you have to time you know ask for a time off but in a way that actually should help you because you're asking in advance and so that should give you enough time to be able to you know plan ahead the third thing we're gonna get into this now when you start searching for flights go incognito okay i think some people tend to forget to go incognito and that is the number one thing that you want to make sure that you do just because when you go back in there and look again um you don't want to make sure that those prices don't go up and i know that this could be like a myth type of thing but either way i do it um because i don't want the internet to remember what flight i just looked at just yesterday you know i go to a couple of different websites and i have a little paper here written down so i don't forget the first thing that I do is I go to googleflights.com and I'm going to show you on a screen recording here how I do this. But I go to googleflights.com and then when I look ahead, I look at the whole month ahead and then I look two months ahead of me and I start comparing to see what exactly would be cheaper and when I could possibly go. Um, ooh, one thing that I forgot to mention is if you do decide to book your trip, which I hope you do, obviously, when you do decide to book your trip, I would highly suggest Oops, I'm shaking the camera. When you do decide to book your trips, I would highly suggest booking on a weekday. Leave on a weekday, come back on a weekday. It's gonna be way cheaper than leaving on a weekend. If you can do that, you're gonna save yourself a good probably 50 to 100 bucks. Um, okay, the websites that I use, yes, is googleflights.com. The second one that I start using is skyscanner.com. I do the exact same thing that I do on Google Flights on Skyscanner, and then I start comparing these two prices and the different flights to see what is cheaper and what has a shorter layover and things like that. Um, the third website that I highly recommend using is for my students. Anybody who is a student, sign up for studentuniverse.com. A lot of people don't know about this website and it is my holy grail. Um, I am no longer a student, but when I was, this would save me so much money. So after looking at these two websites, I would then go to sky or studentuniverse.com and I would look up that exact same flight and it would be like probably a hundred bucks cheaper. And sometimes studentuniverse.com gives you discounts depending on where you're going um, all year around. And it's honestly very, very helpful. It's saved me so much money. If you are a student and if you do decide to sign up, um, definitely use the link that's below because it will give not only me $20 off, but it will give you $20 off as well. Okay, so the next thing is transportation. Um, obviously, in the United States, when you travel, it's easier probably to travel by airplane um, and because you need a car to get around everywhere. Uh, but when you are in Europe, you can use different places like Flexibus, you can do interrailing, or you can possibly rent a car, but that's 
possibly a little harder i would just suggest public transportation since it's really really good over there um renfe is one of the websites that uh that sells train tickets there's other ones too but i've been using renfe because i have an account and then i can log in my little points and then i get some discounts you know so that's another very good way to travel um these train tickets are typically pretty cheap so especially the bus tickets actually they're even way cheaper than taking the train they take sometimes longer but they get you there moving on stay in hostels hostels will save you so much money i know people like to stay in airbnbs or hotels which is totally fine if you can go ahead and afford that by all means do that especially if you're going to be staying with friends i've had uh, a group of like five to 20 friends sometimes where we're all sharing an airbnb and every person has had to pay like 10 or 5 euro which is absolutely amazing so going with the group is always great but if you're traveling solo hostels is the way to go hostelworld.com is probably the best website that i would recommend because it's pretty safe a lot of people use it i've used it uh, or it gives you a ton of different hostels that are in whatever area it tells you how far it is from the city blah 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 um you can look into it yourself and it will tell you the price and everything right there the best thing that you could do is when you're traveling solo stay in a hostel i know it's very scary for a lot of people but then you get to meet so many other people that are from around europe or even the united states literally all over the world and it's a pretty cool experience um once you get to know people all over the world they're lifelong friends and it's amazing i can't tell you how many friends i've made and how amazing these people are also last tip how are you gonna pay for all this yeah you're traveling on a budget and stuff like that but um you're gonna need some money right if you don't have a lot of money in your checking account and get a credit card and i would obviously recommend if you get a credit card get a travel credit card when that gives you either points or when that gives you miles cash back is always good too just because these three types of credit cards obviously if you get miles or if you get points that can turn into miles which is what i do um you can essentially pay a little bit of that credit card money back or you can use those miles and turn them into pay for your flights and the next thing you know you have a very very cheap flight or a free flight to wherever the heck you're going so i would highly suggest doing that um these are seriously the tips that i would highly recommend i'm sorry this is a very long video but <laughs> i mean you guys asked for it so here you go um if you have any more additional questions or anything that i missed any comments that you have feel free to send me a message on instagram and and if you guys have liked this video and found it helpful, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot too. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your videos and happy travels, you guys. See you next time.